Okay, looks. Don't move. I like this for a quadricep stretch. Okay. If you wanted to do, uh, if you wanted to stretch rectus femoris, mm -hmm. if you just bring your leg back into extension more, now she's stretching rectus femoris yeah. because it's a hip flexor too, right? Mm -hmm. So that works better for doing rectus femoris. What if you just wanted to do? Um, I have their iliopsoas. What if you wanted to do just iliopsoas? Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great stretch for iliopsoas. Just a lot. Of, sorry, laterally rotate a little IT bit. Band. And then you want to bring your hips over to the side. Oh, yeah. That's for both the IT band and tensor fascia lata. Same thing. <laughs> stretching the IT band is stretching fascia. It's hard to stretch, right? It's like a piece of leather. But if you hold it long enough, it does eventually stretch up. It's a really hard to do. Hamstrings. How do you stretch hamstrings? There's a lot of ways to stretch hamstrings. Some people demonstrate <laughs> bending forward, putting one foot behind the other to bend forward, uh, being on the floor with one leg out in front of you. Where possible, always stretch one leg at a time. You gotta do something like this with her holding on to a stool. And that's how I probably recommend it. She can also stretch it on the bed uh, by putting her feet on the front of it. That's another way of doing it. Piriformis. You grab and you pull. Yeah. This good. way? Very good. Perfect. So a deduction is required, and then we just add a bit of rotation, right, like that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna hold this oh, one here with this hand, and this one does the pulling there. You can technically do it, you know, if you stood and put your foot up onto the stool, and then just uh, bent forward. You can do it that way, but it's not quite as isolated as that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Stretching the groin. That's a pretty easy one. Uh, probably the easiest one to do is again, you have something for balance. You're just leaning to the side to stretch the inside of the groin. That's of course the adductors. Is that would that be the same as sitting like this and then? Yep, it is the same. Down? The only thing is, again, if you have one side that's tight, it's a little harder to well, balance it. Individual right? Yeah, individualize it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's stretches for the hip. Strength for the hip. Uh, so hip flexors. I want you to bring your knee and hip flexed up towards you. Very good. And back down. Perfect. Up again. And back down. Ideally, I'd put that TheraBand a little lower to the ground. Just go ahead and just um, bring it down. The reason for that, and now try it again, is that as she pulls up, the tension still kind of stays with her. So it works a little bit better now to lower it. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's flexion. How do you do extension? Face that way. Okay, bring your leg back. You can bring it back uh, bent or straight. Let's just try it straight for now. If she does it straight, she's working both glute max and hamstrings. If she wanted to add a little more hamstrings as she brings it back, she can bend it a bit. There you go. So it's a little more hamstrings. Of course, what happens is the TheraBand rides up. Let's do uh, Vanessa face this way now and cross that leg in front of the other leg. What are we working there? Uh, AD doctors. Good. Yep. Yeah. And uh, now face that way, Vanessa. <coughs> and out to the side. AB doctors, right? Okay, with it still around your ankle, have a seat up on the plate. And just scoot that way so we get some tension around. Okay, so we've got it parallel to the floor. I want this foot to rotate over to this one. And tell me what you're strengthening there. External, very good. Yeah, piriformis could be an example. You're strengthening lateral or external rotators. If you wanted to strengthen the internal rotators, how would, you have to, how would you do it? Put it on my right leg. Yeah. And then we'll, show me the action. Let's just say you did that on your right leg. What would you do with your right leg? Show me the action. Bring it in. Oh, no. Bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah, Bring exactly. You've got to pull against it, right? Yeah. So bring it out with strength in our internal rotators. Does that make sense? If we flipped around to the other side, then we could do it internal external mm -hmm. the other way. That one comes up pretty much every um, skill exam. And <laughs> It messes people up a lot, so I like to ask it. Not because I want to mess them up, but this is a kind of an important thing just to get the how to strengthen the hip rotators. And you might be thinking, wow, is that really important to strengthen hip rotators? And the answer actually is yes. Uh, rotation is an important motion, but also uh, rotators do an important job to stabilize the hip. So people with early stages of osteoarthritis, I get them doing a lot of hip rotation strengthening. It's a really important exercise.